Welcome to Everything is Messy, the podcast. I'm your host, Kellyanne Gorman. I'm someone who loves to create content, products, and services to help others level up in business and in life. I even wrote a book about it, and now I have a store. Everything is Messy is a one-stop shop for women who want it and deserve it all. From personal development to productivity, podcasting and publishing, small business strategies to entrepreneurship, and so much more. Tune in every week to enjoy this one-of-a-kind podcast experience and hear fun, fearless, and focused conversations from myself and my incredible guests from trending topics to stories of resilience and all things business. And let's not forget about a few of my favorites, mindset, healthy recipes, and organizing tips. These episodes are created to get you to where you want to be right now. The purpose of the show is to motivate you, inspire you, and prove to you that anything is possible if you just put in the work. So grab your favorite notebook and pen because it's time to get organized and turn those dreams of yours into reality. I'm living proof that manifesting and visualizing and having a never give up attitude work and now it's my job to help you achieve your goals by doing the same or just to provide some laughs along the way. I'm so glad you are here. Today's episode starts now. Hello, hello, and welcome back to a brand new show. Today's topic is going to be about my wellness. I'm giving you a little wellness update. This is going to be part two because part one, I actually had to look back. And that was all the way back in May, which I cannot believe before my rebrand, before my podcast hiatus. It was so long ago. So I'm going to recap it all for you now. And last Friday, I did not upload a show. Today's Monday now I'm recording because my PTSD was so bad last week. I'm going to talk about that because I'm an open book and I always like to share in the hopes that it can help someone. But... I had the worst panic attacks and I had this crazy thing on my lip happen and I don't know if it was from wine or I honestly have no idea. My friend's husband is a doctor. I asked him, he's like, I have no idea what that is. And it mysteriously came and went away. It looked like frostbite, but it was on the lower part of my lip. I'm like, what is in my mouth? It was the strangest thing. But then I got some lab results back from a doctor and then I was dealing with that and it freaked me the hell out and that was like a huge trigger for me and I literally woke up in the middle of the night in a deep sleep twice in one night and had a crazy panic attack to the point where I couldn't breathe. So I needed a little social media detox over the weekend. I just needed to like lay low and that was a crazy week for me and I should just do another like mental health update um, on another episode, but I figured I would just talk about that because it did just happen on this um, on this wellness update podcast episode. I don't know why these words are coming out of my mouth, um, but I think it was really important to share just because, you know, I share everything online as well. It's not like I'm talking about it here and then I post like... I'm living my best life on Instagram. Like I actually did post about it on Instagram and I usually do just because I really want to help other people that are dealing with anxiety or depression or panic attacks or PTSD. It's different for everyone. I mean, my triggers can go from talking about something, reading something, because I was started Googling stuff like what is wrong with my lip? Like, and then if I smell something, if I see it, like all different senses, it can affect And everybody with PTSD is totally different. So that's just what triggered me. And then the next day, I'm literally like a walking zombie because my immune system and my overall like body, it just, it's like crash and burn. And so I just need to take a break after that. And it had happened so many times last week that I just needed a break. So I took like a little social media detox. And then today, actually, I posted a reel with my weekend recap. And I'm like, I should just do that all the time. Just take the weekend off from social. And then on Monday, come back with a reel and share like what happened. So you can go check out my reel now, but something really important happened. So 9-11 was on Saturday and I did a 60 minute row at Row House. And I've been rowing since the middle of April, which is why I did my wellness update. Uh, Basically my wellness check, because it was like the first episode that I was talking about this in um May. Yeah, May. Like I said, I look back, it was May. I f- feel like it was 19th. I forget the date, but it was definitely in May. And I was sharing all the products that I was using to help me on my weight loss journey. And just to like, honestly feel good. 
So I'm going to give you some products that I'm trying now. And they're not helping with weight loss. These are things that I have like in my morning routine, when I work out, my evening routine, how I lose weight is I work out and I eat healthy. That's literally like the recipe for my success. So I'm still rowing. I took a couple weeks off when I thought I had COVID and I was super sick. And then another time when I was traveling and then... I think another time when I was super sick too. Oh, when I got my vaccine. So other than that, I row like five, six times a week, every single week. Like I go hard. For example, I just had to take a detox bath, which I'll share with you how I do that. Because I think that everybody needs to know how to do this detox bath. Um, because it really does like rip the toxins out of your body. And it's kind of like if you've ever gone to get a pedicure and you do the foot detox, it's just like that. So if you go on Pinterest, you'll actually find charts and it will show you the colors of the water and what it means, what it's releasing. And I really, really love it. You, um, so I'll give you the recipe for that as well, but I really just wanted to share like what I've been up to and my results because it's been a number of months and Considering I had uh, mental health issues, I've I've had insomnia for like almost a month. It's gotten a hell of a lot better, but there was a few weeks I was up every single night from 2 a.m. to like 5 or 2 a.m. to 6. And I'm somebody that actually enjoys waking up at like 4.30 or 5. And when I'm, I want to wake up at that time, I'm good to go because my brain works really well at that time. And then I'll get my work done early, especially if I need to write. And then I'll have the, like, the rest of the day to enjoy. But I don't appreciate not being able to sleep and having no choice but like scroll my phone and just like be awake in the middle of the night. It's literally the most annoying thing. So if you've ever struggled with insomnia, I'm sorry because it sucks and I know that feeling. Um, I'm also going to share with you today what I have been using for my evening sleep elixirs. I have like a little concoction that is finally working and I'm incorporating other things. And all the things I use are holistic and um, it's not a prescription. It's nothing bad for your immune system or your body or anything like that. But over the weekend, I did do a row that was 60 minutes. It was for 9-11. And oh my God, I almost lost it rowing because we rowed in silence for like one minute and it sounded like we were in the water. And after I went by the towers when they were down, because I was working on a cruise ship then, the smell, I will never forget the smell and what I saw and all of that, but I was in the water. And so I just like immediately, my brain went back to that spot and I was like, I'm going to lose it. This is the time we're going to lose it. And the soundtrack is was like all New York songs. And that's all I've been listening to lately because I finally announced that I'm going to be by coastal and live in New York again. And so I don't know, that just like really hit home for me, but I powered through that class. I've never done a 60 minute row. I usually um, do 45 minutes. So that was like really intense. We did floor work, (coughs) excuse me. And I got my lowest split ever. It was two minutes and three seconds. And the, um, the lowest I had ever gone was 205. So I did 203. So I was so proud of myself. Today, however, I am so, so sore to the point where like getting up, my heels are throbbing. It's like so uncomfortable. Like I'm actually sitting on my bed recording because I couldn't get in my studio because I was so uncomfortable. I was like, I have so many episodes to record and work to do right now. Like there's just no way. So I'm sitting on my bed recording, which I don't even know when I did that last because I'm usually in my studio, but this is life and I'm going to tiger bomb my body again tonight and hope I can row at 630 in the morning tomorrow because I really do love that workout and if you ever want to try it, it's called row house official on Instagram and usually the first class is free your first month. They usually give you like an insane deal and it's all around the country. So check to see if there's one close to you. It's a low impact workout. I'm obsessed with it. And speaking of other workouts in October, because September is just like so crazy. Um, I have companies that like keep asking me like, come try my classes. So I'm going to try and do a boxing class, which honestly I really wanted to do because it's great for your freaking arms and stress. And then um, Pilates and bar class and F45. So I'm going to try to do one a week in the month of October. Oh my God. 
why am I yawning? So sorry. <laughs> Actually, I know why I'm yawning because I just did that damn detox bath. <laughs> Probably not the best time to record. But um, I did do that and I just need like a spa day the rest of today because I did try to walk it out on the beach this morning because of my soreness and I didn't do anything yesterday except relax. So maybe I should have walked. But I'm in pain. My muscles are in pain. Today I did try um, a BC a BCAA pill and I got vegan capsules from Whole Foods and they have magnesium in them and they're supposed to help with muscle soreness and you're supposed to take them either before or after your workout right away. So I started today, I took two. I don't see a difference just yet, but we'll see. But I am so freaking sore. So that's the update on the body <laughs> and the head, the body and the mind. And um, after I want to, I feel like I'm going to be going in like mid October cause I, I have a trip to LA next week, but then I'm going to go in October. There's this company called next level health. One of my clients told me about it cause she had already gone and you can get tested for, it's like a full panel, but it's mold and toxins and genetics and food, um, allergies and all of that. And I had in my budget this other test, uh, GI mapping or something, because I wanted to see like what else is left in my system, which is why I juice all the time. And I've completely changed my diet so that I can cleanse my system. I want to see if there's any more chemo or prescriptions or heavy meds like stuck in my system. Did it cause anything? When you go to a regular medical doctor, they can't tell you that. So this GI mapping, and I think there's another name. It's almost $4,000. That's a lot. This is less than half the price. So I'm going to try this. And this place is in uh, New York and LA. I think they might have two locations in New York and LA. Or, or two in New York. I'm not sure. Just look it up. Next Level Health. And they're the kind of place where you can go in and get the vitamin drips and all those healthy IVs. So I'm going to do that next as well. Um, I've just really been taking more time to listen to my body because recently I found out I'm anemic and I'm not sure. I think I mentioned this on a previous show, but, um, you know, I'm very religious about, um, donating blood and platelets every single eight weeks. And now I'm not allowed to. So that's super annoying to me because, you know, when you donate blood, you can save the lives of like three people. And I've had so many blood transfusions. I That's my way of giving back. And it took me years to get cleared from my doctor to say, yes, you're okay, you can go. Well, now I'm anemic. <laughs> so every day I wake up and I want a hamburger. So that's my life right now, current situation. I've been taking iron for years. Um, it's just not enough. Like I was so tired. And when it comes to greens, I am obsessed with kale and arugula. I mean, I eat it and drink it every single day. Green beans, broccoli. I mean, if you ever have a friend where they love their green vegetables, I mean, that's me. Everything I eat is green. I drink is green. I drink chlorophyll every day. Like, how am I anemic right now? I don't understand. So that's another thing that I have to figure out. But that's like a whole health update there for you. And then moving into food, um... I found these jicama wraps on, uh, from Trader Joe's. I found out about them from Ross Matthews, and he was on the Drew Barrymore show. And these jicama wraps are gold. They're going to start selling out because now I'm talking about them and so many people have asked, like, what was that thing you posted on Instagram stories? Jicama wraps. I'm trying so hard to not have corn not have um, bad oils, like those two things are so bad for your gut and like just overall health and your body. And I'm trying to be really conscious of that. And I do so well unless I go out to eat because you just don't know if you're getting an appetizer, it's fried. If they're obviously using like shitty oil that you shouldn't be eating. Corn is delicious. It's the worst thing on the planet for you to be eating. So if I'm having chips and salsa, like I'll have like maybe an exception, but like corn wraps, tortillas, like I can't be doing that anymore. So I got these jicama wraps and they're paper thin. They're 15 calories. They have like three carbs. So all my stir fry situations and my salads and my veggie burgers and everything I'm always prepping, I can now put in these jicama wraps. They're ice cold. The only ingredient is jicama. It's paper thin 
and he, I, I thought they were going to break in half as soon as I put something in there. They actually curl properly, like a proper tortilla. So, but you can't, like, use them for quesadillas or anything. And I'm trying to, like, stay away from cheese as much as I can. Um, dairy, just because I can tell my body is, like, dude, you need a break from the dairy. So, that's what I'm doing. But if you're looking for a new alternative other than corn or wheat or gluten-filled tortillas, try these jicama wraps from Trader Joe's. I swear to God, they're going to change your life. I've been, like talking about these jicama wraps for the last like two weeks. I'm obsessed with them. Um, another update I want to share with you is that if you follow me online, I pulled my audience on all my platforms asking, you know, I have a lot of projects in development right now. Like, where would you like to see them? Do you want to see them on LinkedIn videos? Do you want to see them on the YouTube channel? Do you want to see them on my TikTok? And guess what the answer was? TikTok. And that's what I really, really wanted to do was go back to my TikTok account. I honestly don't have time for like the whole YouTube thing. All my podcasts are repurposed and I do YouTube shorts. So I think I'm going to start doing that and repurposing my TikToks there. I make money from Instagram when I go live, but honestly, I'd rather build a better audience over on um, TikTok. People that don't know me, something that's brand new and exciting. So I'm actually going to release my first video most likely tomorrow just reintroducing myself. And, you know, if you've been listening to the show for a while or you follow me online, you know I've never done, like, just one thing. So, you know, everybody says online, you should really niche down. You should really focus on one thing. I've never done that in life online with my career. Like, it's just never been me. So the content that you're going to get is organizing tips and all my healthy recipes and a shit ton of podcasts and LinkedIn, LinkedIn and business. Like, Everything I have my hands in, um, I'm going to be talking about because I truly want to just help more people level up in business and life or make more money passively or make money with their side hustle or make more money with their side hustle so that they can leave the job that they fucking hate and spend more time with their kids. Like, that's my goal. So that's what I'm going to be doing. The first video should go live tomorrow, which is Tuesday. What day is today? Uh, 12, 13, 14th. And so I'm really excited about that. Um, but going back into the whole wellness situation, I wanted to share, you know, more on like mental health and like how I'm slowing down. You know, I've created all these um, programs and products and services so that I can make more money passively so I can do more things, you know, de start developing more things, start writing more things enjoying my life more, trying to figure out this bike will still move. You know, I, I have time, but it's going to go by really fast. And I keep talking about it because if you don't, it's not going to happen. So this is happening. And I already have my eyes set and like a bunch of places on the Upper East Side. So hopefully in October, I make it there. I might even go at the end of September now. So I don't even know. My, it's just so crazy right now, everything. So this is why I've set myself up this way where I do my workouts and I take time for myself and I have certain things that I work on in my business in certain days. I'm a very scheduled and organized human and I need more time for myself before I talk to anybody else. You know, I've said a million times my schedule online, you know, I only take calls Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday because that makes me a better person to be better for you or whoever I'm on the phone with. Trust me when I tell you that. <laughs> So like Mondays, I do certain things, Fridays, I do certain things, but those specific hours, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I am my full 150% for others because I did take that time Monday and Friday. So my morning and evening routine is the same. Like I have to do certain things like today. I'm so sore from my workouts. Like I needed my spa day. So let's just start with that. So I do hand and foot masks. I get them at Big Lots. I'm obsessed with them. They're all a dollar. I do my hair mask, which is not a dollar. It's Kerastase. I do my face mask. Most of the time I use, um, oh my God, I'm forgetting their name. Um, well, I use all different ones, but it depends on if I want like a charcoal or a hydrating. I use... Um, I have to seriously get it. This is going to drive me nuts. And I really want to share with you the name. So I do the face masks and the hair masks and all the masks, especially when I'm in the shower. And then I did the detox bath. So what the detox bath consists of is Epsom salt, baking soda, 
your favorite essential oils and bubbles, because why wouldn't you just add the bubbles? You can have a glass of bubbles, some bubbly champagne, um, but definitely put in some bubble bath. So now I'm getting the hiccups again. So that's the detox bath that I was telling you about. So after I walked and I was working on the beach, I came back and I had plans to go somewhere and I'm like, you know what? I know my body, like I have a lot of filming I have to do tomorrow. My schedule's just crazy until the end of the month. Like I need my spa day. So I did a ton of meditations and sound baths while I was in the bathroom for like a fall hour, maybe even longer. Shaved my legs, did my brows, you know, it was a whole DIY spa situation. And that just makes me feel so good. And I just, you know, I'm all about the self-care. I got my nails done over the weekend. So those look good. So now I'm like, I'm back. I'm getting my hair done next week. So I might even throw on my wig that I have for some videos if my hair is bad. Who knows? But um, those are the products that I use for my detox bath. And then um, what else did I do? So that was basically it for my whole spa situation. And then in the morning when I don't, like I honestly don't want to talk to anybody before like 12 o'clock. I need my morning time. So like I wake up and I don't have a specific time I wake up, but like normally if I don't set an alarm, I'm usually up around seven, but sometimes I like to get up at four or four 30 if I want to do work before I row. And then I come home, shower, take a couple hours off, like relax and then work a few more hours depending on my day. Saturday, I think it was, I slept until 8 a.m., like through the night. That was the first time I've slept like a, literally like a baby. It was insane. So in the morning, I have like a whole routine. I journal, I meditate, I do my sound bath. Sometimes I read, but usually I just do that on the weekend. And then I'm constantly looking at my money. And that's like something else I'm going to talk about on another podcast. But I look at my numbers. I look at my downloads. Like everything is usually done before you even go row. Like I just need time to do that. And then sip on my delicious pumpkin, nutmeg, vanilla, super coffee, iced coffee. I mean, am I high maintenance with my iced coffee? <laughs> so that's what I do in the morning. And then my evening routine, I always turn on my red light. I have a um, 25 pound weighted crystal blanket that I love and then um, I use that all the time. And then as far as the sleeping elixirs, I have CBD that has a little THC. Um, I love kava that really helps relax me. I have this ashwagandha stuff I use from Arbonne. Alchemind, which is really good. It helps release the lactic acid in your system and also has magnesium, so it helps you sleep. And I've been out of that for a couple weeks. So um, the BCAA pills have magnesium, so hopefully that will help me as well. And then I have this holistic sleep elixir that my friend made me, who's an esthetician and has um, an herb garden, and she creates like all these elixirs based on what you need. And she made me these during the pandemic when I also had insomnia. So I've been um, making that every night and it's been helping. And the CBD, every now and then I get really high from it. Like this morning I was like, oh my God, <laughs> I'm so high right now. And then last week I was with a friend and we were um, flipping her condo and I was cleaning something. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm so high right now. And I forget like, cause normally this doesn't affect me, but I stopped taking it. So every now and then I take the same dose and I'm high as a kite, which is kind of funny. I was like, we're going to go need to get a snack. <laughs> so that's my life. Um, but that is, um, my sleep elixir. That's my concoction that is currently working for my evening routine and the drink that keeps me knocked out. Every now and then I will wake up at two or three. I don't know why. Like, it's not stress. It's not like anxiety. I mean, I did have like my PTSD, but it was happening before then. So I'm not really sure like why. It's just, it's just happening. Um, my sleep is priority to me. So all the phones are off. I have on, um, I actually sleep to sound, a sound bath. It's like eight hours. I've mentioned it so many times on the show. And also this deep sleep music. They're all on YouTube. I just look at like research one. And it goes on all night long. So that's that. And then I'm actually, I have to get up and give you the name for these masks. Because first of all, the blanket is Sunday Citizen. 
that is 25 pounds of crushed crystals that I'm obsessed with. I'm literally wobbing, wobbling into my bathroom for you. Oh, it's formula 10.0.6. Um, I get the little minis. Um, you can buy them at Sephora and Ulta. It, I get the skin detoxing peel mask, charcoal plan. And then I have the Be Pure skin clarifying mud mask. But the um the Epiel brand is the dollar ones I get at Big Lots. And then Kate Bella, that is the brand. I cannot forget to mention them because they were one of my book sponsors. So they have a million masks. They're actually the number one. Um, they have the number one sales of Target skincare is Kate Bella these masks. I get the under eye, I get all the face ones. I have like one of every single one that they have. They're so, so good. So there's that. So that is the update on my wellness of my body, of my head, <laughs> of my AM and evening routine, just like where I'm at. Like, I feel really good. I've dropped two sizes. I'll probably drop another size um, probably within the next month. I don't know how much I weigh because I don't really care. I just want to feel good in my clothes. So I'm not like a psycho about that. I do have a scale. And the other, um, I don't even know when I weighed myself last, but I do want to like keep track, um, like of some point. So maybe I'll do that tomorrow actually, just to see like where I'm at. But I go by the sizes of my clothes and I've dropped two sizes and I just honestly like feel really good. Um, I spend more time on my skincare, which I was gifted this whole entire month of skincare, which I'm going to do a, re excuse me, a reel on this week. So you guys can see the before, during and after of like a month and a half of using this product. Oh my gosh, why do I keep getting the hiccups? I'm so sorry. <laughs> what is happening? Um, but I will share that with you. Well, it will actually be on my Instagram at Kellyanne Gorman Official. And it's only available at Med Spas. It's the number one skincare in Australia, and they brought it over in, in the UK, and they brought it over here to the States um, not even a year ago, I don't think. So. I've been using that and my skin looks amazing from it and like a teeny teeny dot goes a long way so I really like that too. Um, but I just wanted to give you guys a wellness update and share with you um, like everything that's been going on in that world. I've been posting a lot more recipes. You'll def you will definitely see them more on TikTok and um, there are a ton on my Instagram. You're just going to have to scroll through because they aren't, or they're just organized by date. And I originally did that for my legal cases. So I really do need to have um, somebody go through that and do all that for me, organize it. But there are a ton there. But speaking of recipes, I just wanted to um, let you know that I am giving away a copy of Everything is Messy, the paperback edition, as well as the ebook. And I'm going to be giving away a copy every single week until Halloween. And all you need to do to enter is leave a review for this podcast on either Apple Podcasts or Audible. Or if you can leave a review on any other app or my Facebook page, you can go ahead and do so. And every Friday, I will pick somebody random and send them a copy of Everything is Messy. Again, the paperback and the ebook. And also, I just wanted to share a couple things on how you can actually support this podcast because I have a lot more things like happening. So I have a lot more things to share. So just two quick things. Um, one, you can support the show by shopping through any of my affiliate links. I'm obsessed with getting brand deals for you guys. So if you go to kellyannegorman.com, the link will be in the show notes. You can shop brand deal. Actually, I'll just leave brand deals there. And if there's any business tools or tools that will save you money or build your credit, when you shop through my affiliate links, you actually get a, a deal, but then I also get a kickback. And then you can sign up and do the same. I talk about this on my passive income shows like all the time. It's a great way to make money. And then there's also a payment link. So if you want to donate $5, $10, 5000 just kidding. If you want to um, make a donation to support the show, the payment link will be there as well. And then as something really special for you, I just wanted to share that every product, every um, program, service, all the merch 
the merchandise for the podcast, the brand, everything within the Everything is Messy collection is all 20% off for you right now. So you can use the code Everything is Messy 20 at checkout, and it is listed on the site, so in case you forget, and you will receive 20% off everything. I think that it's really important to, you know, I was talking to another one of my friends in business, and I'm like, I want to leave this here because I really want to motivate you to look to see like, how can I help you? Because that's why I'm here. So, and then give you a deal. And then you can even become an affiliate of mine where you make your own 10% back just for sharing what I do. That is also an amazing way for you to be making passive income. You know, you're always sharing things on your social media. So if there's something that I've created that you share and somebody signs up, you just made a couple hundred dollars. I mean, what is better than that? I love getting direct deposits of random hundreds of dollars that is passive income. It all adds up. So if there's anything I can ever do to help you in your business, in your life, I'm actually going to a friend's house this week to get her new office organized. Well, it was her cricket room. So now we're going to turn it into our office. And then I think I I actually am going to be making a batch of veggie burgers and showing her my way of doing it because she she uses I'm telling you if you've heard about my veggie burgers or you've read about them in my book you've seen them you have to make them in the small mini Cuisinart it makes such a big difference between the mini and the big one and she always does them in the big one so I'm going to show her the way with the small mini and make her a batch of some veggie burgers and yeah so if you need help in that department let me know <laughs> I'm actually um, going to go live on Instagram soon with another recipe. Maybe I will do my veggie burgers because I did my sweet potato fries last time. That was fun. But um, yeah, that's it. So that's my wellness update. I am looking at my notes. I want to make sure I shared all the products and everything with you. Yes, I did. Perfect. So I will be back again soon with an all new episode. Here's what's happening. I have an episode coming up on hashtags. I have one on budget and credit repair. I have one coming up on podcasting and one on LinkedIn. So stay tuned for those. They were all, they're all going to be back to back to back to back to back. But again, if you ever need anything from me, let me know. Again, if you leave a comment or rather a a review, rate, review, subscribe on Apple Podcasts or Audible, you will automatically be entered to win a copy of my book as well as the um, ebook. And then there's many ways you can support the show, and I will leave those links in the show notes. So that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for listening, and I will talk to you again soon. Thanks so much for tuning in to Everything is Messy, the podcast. If you enjoyed what you heard today, I would love to know. Just leave me a review on the app or website you're listening on. To learn more about myself, join the community, read my book, or shop the collection, visit everythingismessy.com. While you're there, be sure to sign up to receive my weekly newsletter so you get all my announcements first. For all the behind the scenes and day-to-day content, follow along on Instagram at Kellyanne Gorman Official and Everything is Messy Collection. Links are in the show notes. If you have a product, brand, story, or service, you would like to share, send me a message on everythingismessy.com today. As always, thanks for listening, sharing, and reviewing. It truly means the world to me. Wishing you a happy, healthy, positive, and productive day, and I'll talk to you again soon. Everything is Messy is produced and syndicated under A Million Dreams Publishing. For more information on how you can launch your own book, podcast, or digital series, visit amilliondreamspublishing.com.